Savvy, 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 that's the name you should know. Savvy, 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 he's the host of the show. With the games from the past, he's ready to cast. Savvy! Coming at ya, yeah! Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Savvy Show. The show where cool peeps do dumb stuff. I'm your host Savvy, here to interview your favorite content creators. It's wild finally seeing this, as this project has been in the works for a hot minute now. It's awesome to see how far this channel has grown in such a small amount of time. From shitty YouTube channel that talks about video games, to a shitty YouTube channel that talks about video games with guests. This surely was a challenge for myself, as I had to overcome my social anxiety to invite many guests, and all of them are people that I personally admire and I look up to. And today's guest is no exception. So please welcome to, with a warm applause, Sonico! Hello, Sonico! Hi, it's me, Sonico. I don't usually have an intro, I just talk. So hi. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to be one of the first guests. I know you worked a lot, so it's good to be on the show. So, uh, currently, uh, the people watching may know who you are and some may not. So, uh, you know what, Sonico, introduce yourself for everyone watching. Well, fair enough. I'm Sonico from the Sonico YouTube channel. I usually do Kirby and Sonic video essays. While I do some reviews, my my biggest topics are the most obscure things that no one cares. Uh, as oh, yeah? Sonico said, he's a Sonic content creator, and that's why I invited him, because uh, he is has a very similar channel structure to mine, where, as he himself said, he talks about video games and dissects them and talks about reviews. So I invited him as Dono Homie, he is a wonderful person and a wonderful content creator, but also because everyone here at home watching this video may know more about this content creator. So here we have a bunch of questions that I'm going to ask today's guest, Suniko, and maybe we can just discuss a little bit later about whatever we want. So, first of all, uh, Sonico, how did you start making content in the first place? Uh, well, I, I'm i pretty young, like I'm currently like 17, but for a lot of time I've been in the internet. And I've been like, since the beginning of YouTube and seen the little Let's Plays, even I myself tried to do some Let's Plays, didn't quite work well. So finally, like a year, currently a year ago, right? Yeah, it's pretty close to the one year anniversary. I decided to just start making videos about the characters I love and the games I love. And um, But my first video, which is the Sonic Eras video, that one was made because we in the community had like a big discussion about what Eras was, yeah. like the meta era and the dark age and all the stuff and I I thought that that was a big opportunity to like finally break in into YouTube stuff and actually explain it and I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, you definitely did because as a content creator myself, uh, re-watching my old videos, I found myself cringing a lot because you could see that um, I learned basically everything about YouTube without watching any tutorials and stuff, so it was a hard time for myself, like, figuring out how uh, my editing program worked, or how this, or that, or this, or that, or what people wanted to see. And I'm still pretty new to this scene, as you are. So, it's wonderful seeing how your first video, because uh, before this episode of The Savvy Show, I went back and um, looked at every single video you did, so I could just get oh. some... <laughs> uh some yeah some of these questions and your first it, video it, aged very well because like uh, even even the, the rush one the april fools <laughs> i i even watched that we're if you want to talk about that later i can just cancel you on twitter uh no i don't need no i don't need to worry about that you can just yeah, that's, that's that as a little speak. silly silly joke <laughs> Yeah, joke. I, I've seen your Twitter page, and that uh, picture of Rouge in the Santa outfit. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next question. Moving on. <laughs> uh, uh, why is your avatar a whale rider? This is just a dumb question, but just I was wondering why. I actually don't have a good explanation. I just uh, fear enough. I don't. I don't actually like like Willy Rider. No, I love Willy Rider, but I don't like the Willy ability as a whole. I I like it, but it's not like my completely favorite. I just really like the ending of Meta Nightmare. Uh, Meta Nightmare. Meta Knight's Return. Like we like see this. Uh, that scene. Yeah. Even as a not huge superstar fan, that scene is like the best part of the game. Just so iconic and the music and. That's actually my outro of the video. Yeah, and like after you see, see you in the next ride, if I recall. Yeah, I'm I'm a Sonic yeah. nerd now. Uh, hey, and hey. You know that like that, uh, the ending was actually inspired by the Lupin the Third ending about like that anime. I don't know if you know about that series, but like it was this scene where there's uh, this girl called Fujiko in this motorbike, and she's just uh, like going away with the sunset in the background and so that's what uh was the main inspiration for sakurai for that scene so yeah that's a little bit of piece of trivia i actually didn't know that but doesn't survive me kiwi has a lot of anime references yeah the more you know also i gotta check if kirby has any jojo references obligatory jojo reference moment also <laughs> i have a another question about your avatar if you were to describe Suniko, is Suniko the Kirby on top of the Wheelie Rider, or is Suniko the Wheelie Rider itself? Oh, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the the Kirby, the Kirby, <laughs> the Kirby. Okay, yeah, because like, no, not the Wheelie itself. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, anytime I use my avatar and my avatar, I use. A, a random picture, of, the best picture of Willy Ryder, which sucks. I don't know why we haven't got a better render. Oh, the one from Superstar Ultra? Yeah, no, but every every single PNG out there, it's just the worst quality ever. And that's why I almost never use it. But when I do use it, I just show the Kirby part. I don't usually show Willy, poor Willy. So, rip Willy Ryder. Also, I've yeah. discovered something very dumb whilst like making some research for this video every time you look up suniko on youtube the first thing you see is actually just a bootleg version of sonic like i'm not kidding which is it's <laughs> weird yeah i don't know if you didn't know that it just must oh no that's uh i know that because sonico or sonico and in spanish it means like super fast or super sonic speed oh yeah same thing in italian yeah i mean i think that's probably why sonic is called sonic yeah also sonic is also the fast food place that's funny i don't know why probably it's yeah fast food get it because i don't know maybe actually kind of pissed that they didn't do any collab during the both sonic movies they decided to go with taco bell so stupid and speaking of a uh, Sonic, uh, currently, if any of y'all watching this video have been on Twitter, you may have seen the uh, argument that is going on between uh, Kirby and Sonic fans. How do you feel about it, actually? Well, actually, I did a, like a little Twitter post that got a lot of reception. Actually, I didn't expect it. As, I expected like five likes, but that actually blew blew up. But uh, as someone who really likes both series, uh, I noticed that a lot of people also do that. That both like Sonic and both like Kirby. So it came to me like kind of a surprise to, at the beginning, but I also felt kind of sad because that would probably mean that people would hate Kirby because of Sonic or would hate Sonic because of Kirby. It's like the same thing as like the Mario and Sonic rivalry that has been a thing for now ages since the yeah. 90s and it's wild how... But, yeah? Yeah, but I think that the difference between Mario and Sonic that that was an intentional rivalry while yeah. Sonic and Kirby never actually like outside of Smash never like met. Okay, so since we're on the like Sonic topic, I have to ask the ultimate Sonic question. Is it Hydrocity or Hydrocity? 
It's hydrocity. If you say hydrocity, it's because you have something in your head that is bad and uh, you need help. But it's hydrocity. It's literally a city of water. Yeah, Thank you. It, it is. Like, and it's so dumb. It's one of those other Twitter user moment. Like, they've been all arguing. And it, it's weird. But it is Hydro City because, as you said, it's a place. City. Mm. And hydrocity is not a word. Um, the only argument I've seen is that hydrocity uh, like rhymes with velocity, but that's it. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's dumb. Because any other time hydrocity has been shown is with two words. And you can't say that Sonic 3, uh, Sonic 3 puts them together because Sonic 3 puts Ice Cap, and we know Ice Cap is separate. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, in Generation, they put a space between Hydro and City, confirming that it's yeah, um... Hydro City. So, continuing with the uh, Sonic questions, um, the entire Sonic community has been in a little bit of a war, of a battle, uh, because of the new trailers and the upcoming release of the new Sonic Frontiers, which... Uh, seems like it's going to be a very fun title, personally, but some people aren't very happy with that. There's been a lot of leaks, a lot of uh, rumors, there's people that want to fuck a triangle, and that's just weird to me. But <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, what do you think about this entire Sonic situation? Because I've seen your tweets and like a little bit of the reactions, but just to have like um, um, an entire vision, what do you think about this game? I think we first need to clarify when are we recording this because my opinion of this game has changed like five times. Like yeah. just yesterday, we got a huge bomb of information. Yeah, like here yesterday, I remember, if I remember yeah. correctly, there was like a little leak that showed uh, Egg Death Zone and what Sky was Sanctuary. Sanctuary Zone? Sky Sanctuary. Oh yeah, like... Wild. Yeah, currently recording this the 18th of June. Yes. If I'm correct, yes. Yep. So some of these thoughts may change, but so far, I think the game is looking pretty fun. I still have that thought of this game is going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be the best game ever made, which is sad because before the the showcase I was thinking like oh my god it's going to be such a cute game now I'm more dead yeah this is good I, li I like it so like you're but a little yeah. bit concerned yeah. about the game like you don't know for sure if it's gonna be good or not because like in the last few years everyone sadly knows that Sega has had a little bit of that bumpy ride uh, with yeah. each and every release yeah it's, it's kind of Kinda, kinda sad to see, but at the same time, it's cool that they are trying something new, and I think that's why I give it so much slack because this is like completely new. And while we have like some fan games as a reference, it seems that even those fan games don't seem like anything compared to what Frontiers is doing. Like this combination of combat and exploration and puzzles and speed is something no one has ever done. Yeah, and also, like, comparing it to a fan game is uh, kinda bad, in my opinion, like, because the fans have a limited budget, whereas Sega is a huge company. They, like, have the strength to do a AAA game, and so that's why people have been so obsessed about this game, because, come on, it's Sonic. It's one of the biggest game franchises in this whole planet, so... Actually, for myself, I'm pretty excited about the game because it does look a little bit bland, but at the same time, I do enjoy the fact that it's not just Green Hill again, although I'm 100% sure that Green Hill is going to show up in some uh, way. Yeah. But I'm so happy that the series is trying to do something new, but at the same time, I'm concerned because this game, uh, like, the first showcases didn't look that much like Sonic, you know? Oh yeah, should we talk about the, how they showcase this game? Because I think that's a, one of the biggest problems and it just made me realize how important marketing is. Yes. And how they just screw in this game. 
And the most embarrassing thing to me was the IGN showcase because it's oh my god so bad. It, like the the main goal of the Sonic series is to be fast, and the gameplay was so slow and boring. And and then if I remember correctly, it turns out that it wasn't even IGN's gameplay; it was something provided by Sega themselves. Yep. Because I mean. When thinking about the marketing of this game, I think of Breath of the Wild. I mean, of course, many people have done that comparison. They're going to call Sonic of the Wild, but if you're thinking about more marketing perspective, I think Breath of the Wild, like the trailers we did get, that's some of the best trailers ever made that really hyped the game up. While Sonic Frontiers having got a... Oh my god. Oh my god. There it goes. Willy Ryder. Mm. As I was saying, uh, the Nintendo Switch presentation, like the the last trailer before Breath of the Wild got announced, I mean the, the release day trailer was announced or whatever. <laughs> that trailer is so good, but if you actually like look at Breath of the uh, like the showcase of Breath of the Wild, the game is so boring. Looking at the game, like, without anything, is so boring. I love that game, but not, not a good showcase. And I think Frontiers is having that issue. Because we haven't got a trailer. Eh. We only got showcases. We, like, nothing hides me. I'm more like, oh yeah, this is good. But no one like, oh my god, this is so good! Yeah, that's like a big problem with open world games. They are such big games that dealing with... Uh, such big games is kind of hard because as you said a showcase is much more slow and boring without any cuts or editing I've seen someone on Twitter if I recall that literally put some music and some cuts and some flashy effects and bam it was like a 10 times better trailer instead of like a boring slow um, showcase of the game and speaking of showcases um, a little bit while a while back uh, me and Suniko have been on Suniko's channel to react to the Sonic Central, and we didn't really have time to discuss how it was, and then we like a little bit talked in chat, but um, wrapping up, what do you think about that direct? Personally, I think that it was kind of underwhelming, because the amount of announcements was, like, of actually new stuff was very low, because like, wow, a trailer of a movie that already came out. Wow, there was one second of new Sonic Prime animation. There was fucking Pets, which was the best part of the showcase. But apart from that, <laughs> <laughs> eh, I don't know. It kind of been lackluster to me. What What do you think? Yeah, feeling kind of the same. Like compared after the watching the Sonic Central, I went back to the other Sonic Central. That one is way better. That. I I just I didn't I know they wasn't going to show much stuff, but they think they did show was like really boring. Again with Sonic Frontiers, like that boss looks huge. But that was like five seconds. <laughs> Nothing. And, and that was with all announcements. Like, hey look, there's a Sonic Frontiers prologue. There's two seconds of knuckles with the Master Emerald. Bam, another trailer. Wow, look, there's a new showcase for Sonic Prime, two seconds of shadow, that's it. Then there were like all those announcements like, wow, look, for the Sonic DVD, there's this exclusive animated movie. And it's the same one you can find on YouTube, which is kind of <laughs> disappointing. Yeah, especially because the Sonic Central was before the Summer Game Fest. And that's another huge debate about what they did. Summer Game but... Fest was so mad, honestly. Oh my god, yeah. But... After the Summer Game Fest, we got the, the scavenger hunt for information. Yeah. <laughs> we got like 144p like photos, like very blurry. Like I still stand by the by the thought that you couldn't see anything. It was little yes. two white lines. <laughs> and I think that people just kind of a little bit overreacted to some of these things because there were like two pixels and it's like. That's Green Hill! That's Green Hill! And when it was like, I don't know, it's like two colors. Yeah. So I think that everybody should just calm down because like the new footage that we were talking about earlier about uh, Sky Century Zone, that's much better footage because you can clearly see 
uh, the levels. But like before, what was it? The Zippo week? That wasn't really oh my cool. god, Zippo. No, it wasn't believable. People just thought it was Sky Sang. I mean, at the end of the day, we do still look like idiots because it was Sky Sensory, but you can't look at before. It's like, you know those 4chan smash leaks that are, are like very flashy photos of, of like a moving phone. It's like two yeah. pixels showing something like Drip Goku and people like, oh my god, it's real! People just <laughs> believe too many things nowadays. And since we are on the topic of presentations, I'd like to talk about the possibility of uh, Direct. Although I think that like when this episode will come out, Probably a new Direct will be out, but like, I just want to briefly mention, do you think a Direct is coming? I see, I, this is the thing, because I think a Direct is coming, but at the same time, because I think a Direct is coming, it's not coming. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo is so unpredictable. Yeah, but there are like a lot of leaks that Nintendo will have like a Direct in june 29th i think it was so may we'll see because that's the that's the like the only week nintendo has said like nothing because this week was mario strikers then the next is nothing and then the next is fire emblem yeah oh yeah fire em i forgot about that <laughs> i just fire em was just <laughs> kind of my mind but not really also, moving on, since we're talking about Nintendo, uh, there's not been many announcements about Kirby, which is kind of underwhelming nope. right now, but I, I think they'll announce something eventually. Yeah, especially since, I mean, we just come from a huge, like, game-breaking experience that was Forgotten Land, like a huge 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Honestly, but, uh, a huge turning point for the series. Like, if yeah. anybody watching has not like played Kirby in the Forgotten Land yet, it has a demo in the they shop, and it's awesome. Like, you can just try it out. And the wild thing was that it was basically just uh, Kirby, like we always thought about Kirby, but in three. But in three D, controls were smooth. Everything was smooth. It was just yeah, how every Kirby fan imagined a 3D game to be. Yeah, that game is so good. But at the same time, I'm kind of a little surprised we haven't gotten like an announcement for other things. I mean, that was a huge game, but most of how like those celebrations like really well. Like what? The 25th, we got the Kirby um, anniversary collection. That was so good. Yeah, that's the that's for the 20th anniversary. Then for the 25th, we got uh, the eShop games. Oh yeah, Saturday. Later, maybe. Yeah, that was a year later, but it was they announced during announce. the 25th. Yeah. Because I remember there was like the video with every single Kirby game, and then at the end there was like the Kirby logo, and the game looked so weird. Like looking back at it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so <laughs> and it looked kind of weird. But uh, this time we only got Forgotten Land, and that's it. I mean, I expect a collection, like a Dream Collection too. But at the same time, most of the games are already on NSO. So, I don't know. Maybe they're going to re-release Kirby's Adventure Wii, yeah, you know, PAL dudes, or uh, <laughs> as the rest of the world knows it, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland in HD, but I don't think it'll be something very plausible. Like, it could happen, but not really, in my opinion. Like, it could happen, still. But, meh, I don't know. Meh. So, but in terms of Kirby in the future, uh... I actually don't don't know what they could do because for the couple last years we only the only spin-offs we got was uh, upgraded versions of mini games and we are young we don't have mini games so what you do there? Tilt and tumble two maybe? Just they're gonna be like the frustrating mini game from Kirby and No the please Batman. don't. No <laughs> please don't. I mean it would work. Please don't well. because I will I will have to play that game when he comes out and beat it in like a week and I will kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, you know what, I'm like a beta cock gamer because I couldn't get past 
like the hard difficulty of the the totem brawl whatever it was called mini game because it was so hard and it was like no I want to have fun I don't want to have I'm, I'm not a masochist yeah I actually kind of I actually did it because I'm a gamer but it was a gamer moment. <laughs> it was really really hard Especially someone who like likes motion controls. I know a lot of people don't like motion controls, but I do, and I still think they they are kind of bad. Yeah, because it was a little bit too sensitive in my opinion. Like you tilt the console too much, and bam, the ball fell down. And the fact that yeah. like the entire course was very narrow, and like it, it felt very bad, honestly. <laughs> okay, so changing a little bit the topic. Um, taking a look at your channel shows that like a lot of your content from streams to videos and like some of your most popular videos are uh, related to uh, ROM hacks and fan games either of the blue blur of the or the pink puff so and I think that uh, both Sega and Nintendo like it's weird because these companies are the polar opposites when it comes to uh, talking and like checking fan games out because Sega is very open about their fan games as everybody knows Sonic Mania is the living example of Sega appreciating their fans and stuff but Nintendo is very conservative with their IP so if they see something that they don't like even though it's good like No Mario Sky or Super Mario Battle Royale or Pokemon Uranium, all of these projects have been erased from existence just because, well, Nintendo doesn't like other companies getting their precious IPs. So what do you think about this? Do you think that more companies should appreciate their fandoms and start accepting the fact that they are making fan games and mods? And how do you think that games get improved with mods? So, uh, well, as you said, some of my biggest videos are about mods and brawn hacks, and part of the reason why I want to do those videos is because of Nintendo, because uh, I seen this like toxic like relationship with uh, fan games, not even with fan games and rom hacks, more fan games than rom hacks actually, but not even from Nintendo, but the f their fans too. Because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't have done the ROM hack. You shouldn't have done the fan game. That's that's a you problem. That you shouldn't get surprised because Nintendo is struck in down. And I just find that to be so, so bad. So it's good that I uh, gave the chance to these fan game creators to like showcase in them. And, and the reaction from them is like so, so sweet. But yeah, as you said, I think fan games can do a lot of fun, especially fan games and mods can do like a lot of showcasing the good and the bad of certain formulas because when you creating a game for a company, being risky is not a good thing. You can risk your RP, you can risk losing money and it's, it's, it's a whole deal, yeah. but with fan games, you can explore more of the, of the wacky side without thinking about consistency or polish or crazy ideas. Like so I think that's pretty good. Trilogy of games based on around the Mario pissing meme, and I <laughs> cannot stress out enough how I don't think that anybody could just go to Nintendo and say, "Hey Miyamoto, want to see my new game concept? It's called Mario pissing, and it's about a, a game about your son that pisses." I cannot see that at all. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's, that's the power of fan games. They don't replace, they complement, they like showcase what, also, what is possible. Mods and fan games do those things that those companies probably would never do because apart from the stupid Mario pissing example, uh, maybe just remastering an old game that nobody maybe cares about, like nobody in that um, company, for example, Mother Free is the biggest example of a fandom coming all together for a game that they all care about, and it's wild seeing how much uh, the fandom cares about this game because if you think about it, it's an old game that they would just say, Yeah, whatever, it's not gonna get re released, but no, the team gets together and they talk about the possibility of 
having it on more consoles, and then they try to port it. This with a lot of games, like one of the biggest examples to me is Super Mario 64, because in the recent yeah. years, thanks to the decomp, we've had the, the PC port, the 3DS port, the DSi port, any single console apart maybe from the uh, the PlayStation 1, but apart from that, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, 3DS, Switch, any of those console got Super Mario 64 ported, and that's just the prime example to me on how a community can just take an old game and improve on it and make things that maybe are never gonna happen because as we see, as we as we saw, Nintendo doesn't really care that much about um, having their older games in their new platforms, and when they do care, it's about the money. So they just put the least effort to publish some very pricey games, like Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's incredible how such a poor, low-quality collection has been put into such a high-quality console that is the Nintendo Switch. Like. It's wild to me. I've done a Macron, a review about Super Mario All-Stars, and I give it the lowest score that I've ever given in this channel. Not because the games inside are bad, just because it has so little new things, it's dumb. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Well, that is good. I think something that I should have a great, uh, addressed in my videos are like the bad things about fan games and mods getting like very popular, because yeah, it's cool seeing like these people thrive and get contacted by Sega, but not one, not all of them want to work. They just like do it out of passion. And two, I think people like at use are uh, use mods and fan games like attacks, and I think that's bad for both parties because, yeah. for example, uh, Sonic Origins, which is uh, an amazing collection, is coming out. Uh, w when it was announced, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a like huge decompilation. There also a, a decompilation of the Sonic One and Two mobile ports. Yeah, it was. And Sonic one, yeah, uh, what was the name? Uh, Sonic, Sonic One uh, Reloaded, Reloaded, I think it was. If I remember. Yeah. Uh, like the Sonic One ports. Yeah, Sonic One Forever and Sonic Two Absolute, which is yeah. taking the decompilations and just adding a bunch of extra features. Which is basically what, <laughs> well, basically what Sonic Origins is doing, and some people said, uh, "Don't buy this game. Actually, download the free decompilation because it's free." But that just goes against what the game was made of. And some of the devs straight up said, "Hey, buy Sonic Origins. Please buy Sonic Origins because we are we need more compilations and we need more games to be re-released." Yeah, especially Sonic Three and Knuckles. It has been into a very weird limbo for the past few decades, and even now it will not be released in its full state because, as most of you watching probably know, there are some songs linked with the uh, the presence of Michael Jackson, which had a lot of different problems, either legal or scandals or this or that. So the songs have to be replaced, but it's still a blessing that we're getting Sonic 3 and Knuckles as in this new collection, as they've been not released in uh, what maybe in the like since the DS era. Yeah, especially since the people that are doing the Sonic 3 ports, also the ones that made the Mania, the Sonic Mania, and the other like ports for the mobile po the mobile remakes. So it's yeah, great to see. Legend. Yeah, they those people's like. They started out as fan game creators and improving their content, so I think just like giving them like a, a, a huge shout out and buying their products shows Sega like, hey, there's people that want these things, this like very specific stuff. But at the, and other thing about Sonic Origins that a lot of people say is, oh, but they're just Sonic One, Two, and Three re-release. What? Well, who cares? But these are some major implications. This is not like just Sonic 1, just Sonic 2, and just Sonic 3. These are like remakes. Which, then again, if it does well, maybe, possibly, we can get a bunch of remakes. A Sonic Rush series remake, a Sonic Advance series remakes. That would be wild. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, like we could also get. Uh, because in this collection, I don't, because you forgot to mention, you said 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, but also CD, which 
it is very oh, weird to get nowadays because um, you can still get the uh, the mobile one, but yeah, Sonic CD is relegated to a console with an add-on which is very pricey. So it's good that Sega is finally uh, also putting these games that are harder maybe to uh, access for uh, normies, let's say like this. Now, jokes aside, yeah. it's fun seeing these companies actually caring about their fandoms. Now, yeah. We have to do something dumb, Sonico. Okay. I challenge you I'd... to a drawing competition. That's right. Dun, dun, dun. I cannot... <laughs> I, I don't know, that, that was a very dumb introduction, but that's right. Today, here as you'll see here on screen, I have not one, but two character generator. I have a Kirby character generator and a Sonic character generator. So. Let's get oh my God. ready, because uh, from what I know, Sonico is not very good at art, and I suck <laughs> dick at heart. So it's gonna be fun, and we're going to try guessing the character that the other person is drawing. Get your pencils ready. Three, two, one, go! Okay. So the shape of mm -hmm. my character is very weird. I got a Sonic character. Okay, going with the most, with the basics, the, fu the fundamentals. Fundamentals, sure. I'm like starting from the face, but this is weird. Uh, you can also get some reference material if you want from <laughs> Google. Uh, <laughs> because I got that because I cannot remember how that character is. Oh my god, he's so ugly. <laughs> oh, so nah, that's do, bad. Do you have, like, a strong connection with the character you're currently drawing? Yeah, I actually, I actually do this, uh... One of my favorite. Yeah, that's cool. My character is, uh... Like, I do have a connection with him. It's one of my favorites, but... Apart from that, I don't really have anything to say. Like, I enjoy his presence in games, but uh, apart from that, I I just kind of enjoy him. Yeah, let's get the finishing touches. Uh oh. We still have. Oh my God, four seconds. How is it? Uh, what? <laughs> three. Two, one, zero. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You can, finish, like, you can put some finishing touches if you want. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm just coloring so it looks a little bit nicer because I just ended up with the head and that's it. I'm just gonna shitty color all over this thing. There we go, put it in chat. <laughs> is that Ultra Sword or just Normal Sword? Yeah, it's Ultra Sword. <laughs> okay, are you ready for my masterpiece? Yes. <gasps> mm, I don't know, there may be anyone. <laughs> it's Knuckles. Yeah, it's Knuckles. It's my poor version of Knuckles. But like, your <laughs> is not bad at all. Like it's yeah because I use the circle function. <laughs> of course, the so, circle is going to be good. That's why it looks so good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the opposite. Uh, you're gonna do um, a Sonic character, whilst I'm going to do a uh, Kirby copy ability. How the frick should I draw that? How? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, there's no way I got this one. Oh my god, there's no way! <laughs> oh... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna clear my beautiful Knuckles drawing. Okay, you tell me when to begin. Okay, let's get the timer. Edit, and it's gonna be 1 minute and 30 seconds. Three, two, one, 
Go. Okay, so I begin with the head. This is actually very hard. <laughs> because it's a very obscure ability, quote unquote. I don't know if you can even consider it an ability. Yeah, mine is a interesting choice, to say the least. I had a lot of history with this character. Uh, well, this character I actually just discovered it a while back because I finished this game just not a uh, not that much time ago. So like, it's fun seeing it back. I'm going to cheat and use the the circle function because no, I'm not gonna do a perfect circle. It's gonna be blue, sure. And the final touches. <laughs> That's a little too tiny. Seconds. Oh my god! And I still haven't draw anything. So, <sighs> whoop. Like I, I have drawn a very poor Kirby. <laughs> there we go. I think it's perfect. I would cut it a day, even a masterpiece. Oh my god! This Kirby so bad. We still have thirty. S no, not thirty. Uh. 15 seconds. Okay, maybe we can add some some detail. And there we go, masterpiece complete. I gotta do the third thing in the stick, and voila! We got yourself a very beautiful thing, and time is finished. Okay, man is done. I'm gonna send mine first now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna guess this one. Yeah, uh, I don't know either. <laughs> do, do, do you know what this is? That's... Triple Rod from Squid Squad? Yeah, it is. It wasn't so shitty then. <laughs> I got it. I, I, I got it from the, the, the tree star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you will see it. Don't, don't you worry. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you so, who's, lie. What's that character? <laughs> it's Rouge. <laughs> oh my. Yep, it I is Rouge the, the bat. The, 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 the. <laughs> You just oh I, yeah, I just completely <laughs> forgot I just completely forgot the wings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the key the key part of the design is the is the boobas. So that's the <laughs> I kept that right. intact. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, we can do one last character. Okay. And now you can choose. It's gonna be free. You can either do a Kirby copy ability or a Sonic character. I'm gonna make fun of myself, so I'm gonna wanna do a Sonic character. Then I'll go uh, do a Kirby character. Sure. I said we couldn't find like an actual Kirby character. Kirby ability. Just copy, copy abilities. Ooh, this one I also really like. And mine is. <sighs> sure. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that didn't sound too good. Like. It's an easy character to draw, quote unquote, but I don't know. Okay, this time I'm not going to waste that much time. I'm actually going to just do it. I know, crazy concept. Yeah, drawing. Okay, how how could I do the dress of this character? No, that eye looks weird. Okay, got the main main body down. This one just looks pathetic. Oh my god. My hurt my my hand hurts so much. But I uh, gotta do it. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. 
the bow is like bluish. Is I kind of spoiled the character, but sure. You know, like th this character isn't going so bad. Like for okay, my that's... very poor art standards. You're probably gonna see and go and go like, what is that Yoda? <laughs> and the shoes, and. Since we're just doing it, so I'm just doing it, Sunga. And I'll draw this companion too. Voila! My piece of art is complete. It's amazing. This should be in the Louvre. Perfect. We have two, one, and time. Okay. No, my God, I just. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're gonna fend. <laughs> fend. You're gonna send yours first. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that, that actually doesn't look too bad. Like the hammer, okay. the star. And are you prepared to see the the weirdest thing ever? Bam. Oh, it's cream, cream and chow. Yeah, with the chow. <clears throat> that kind of looks like yoga. Cream and cheese. Fake Sonic yeah. fan. <laughs> no, it actually, actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, at the end, who do you think won this drawing challenge? I think you did, um, because yours were actually recognizable. Like, <laughs> that is a sword, that is tits, and that is a hammer. Easy peasy. Mine is just, eh. Huh. I would say and yours what? is... <laughs> I think you definitely beat me in, in the Sonic characters, and I beat you in the Kirby ones. Yes, because like, you drew the... you had the circle thingy and going on, so the main <laughs> art thing. like you focused more on the details and the weapons mine are just yep. particular like i'm gonna do my sonic oc now it's gonna be uh ikea the hedgehog from sweden <laughs> it's just gonna be a pewdiepie oc i don't know about that and that's it this is actually a pretty good first episode to me because this has been a project that i've been working on as i said in the intro for months now and this project uh, this first episode was pretty good in my opinion. I I am currently dying from uh, my little shitty anxious personality, but apart from that, I'm doing pretty good. I'm very very happy that my boy Sonico was able to join me and accepted being this project with yours truly. Um, we did everything that we could do in this very weird talk show and if you enjoyed this episode this is actually going to be a series because i invited tons of people and i'm going to embarrass them all and they're probably going to never talk to me ever again in the next episodes of the savvy show so you know what you gotta do every youtuber tells you this click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for more the savvy show episodes um i honestly had <laughs> A lot of fun, especially with the drawing and like the mindless conversations. Do you want to wrap things up for yourself, Sonico? Uh, yeah, it's was a it's a, it was a pretty fun thing to do. Like, talk, just I loved like talking and, and rambling and stuff. And the little art challenge was actually really really fun to do, even though I, I suck with both suck at art. But it it was pretty fun. So I hope. Uh, other guests have as much fun as I did, and I'll see you all in my channel. Bye. So yeah, check Sonico out, because he is a wonderful content creator, and everything we'll talk about in this episode is actually in his channel too. Everything from Sonic Collections to Sonic Frontiers, fan games, it wasn't a coincidence. It's also in his place, so go check him out, because it's gonna be a very fun time. Thanks again to Sonico for tuning in here with the episode and being a wonderful guest and making these masterpieces. And thank you all for watching. This has been a pleasure and Savvy out. Hey, no problem. Okay, bye.
Wait, I, I need to do my super, super ultra intro. That's all for me, and I'll see you on the next drive. It's hydrocity, not hydrocity.